It's December 1, a day set aside to celebrate persons living with HIV AIDS. Margaret Johnson, Wendy Michaels, Alex Dinian, and Felicia Anchi, not their real names, are all persons living with HIV. They have all had to deal with the challenges that comes with the virus in society, with stigma topping it all. 48-year-old Margaret realized she got infected with the virus when she was 26 and had given birth to her second child. People find it difficult to understand our condition. When they find out and we sell, they won't buy from us. Her husband divorced her after realizing Margaret was positive for HIV. I had vaginal infections after my second delivery and my doctor requested for my HIV status. I tested and it came out positive. Felix, 62-year-old, a retired security officer, has lived with the disease for almost 20 years, having contracted the disease in 1998. According to Felix, he is still suffering stigmatization by some who know about his condition. 1988, before I was having a friend girl, so me plus you make friendship. Before I see, I get gonorrhea, that sickness. So I went for for injection for some private clinic. So my man be open his clinic, private one. So I went there. They give me. He say he will give me injection about five times before the thing will go. So he give me one, two, three. The third one no, way the injection go me. It make like a crease. Though he's happily married again to a person living with the virus, his first wife had to pack out after he broke the shell. My wife said, through that way, he go away, leave me. We are collect my son, and they take care of him. Wendy, 47, has also lived with a virus for 20 years. She wants to get married, but the men who come her way abandon her after she tells them her story. I am away far from sex. Any man come my way to talk to me, I rather encourage them that have you know your sister, if you know your sister, I'm ready to work with you, even though I used to let them know who I am. She has tried advocacy work to encourage and educate others about the condition, but the stigma it came with was something she could not bear. They are all fighting to end the stigma associated with the virus while constantly taking the life-saving antiretroviral drugs to keep them going. It is up to every person to take responsibility for protecting him or herself from HIV infection by adopting protective behaviors such as partner reduction, correct and consistent use of condoms, and testing for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. The Minister of Health, Kweku Ajiman Menu, also raised some concerns on stigmatization. Stigma and discrimination is among the notable strongholds we are called upon to dismantle as we help perpetuate inequality, which invariably diminishes the ability of people to access HIV services. My government is fully committed to addressing inequalities that hold back our progress to ending AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. As the country joins the rest of the world to mark World AIDS Day on December 1, there's still more to be done with a section of those living with the disease, decrying inadequate support from the government, stigmatization and discrimination among other challenges. This year's celebration is dubbed Equalize, a slogan that is calling everyone into action to work for the proven practical actions needed to address inequalities and help end HIV AIDS. These include increased availability, 
quality and suitability of services for HIV treatment, testing and prevention so that everyone is well served. The Ghana AIDS Commission has recorded innumerable positive cases of HIV infections. People living with HIV are saying that the stigma still persists in the communities. They're saying that when one is infected with a virus, it does not mean that is the end of the person's life. Get tested and know your status. Godwin Asiriwa, TV3 News, Accra. Thank you.